Hey y'all, we're gonna talk a little bit about parsley today. That's what I have sitting here. Uh, sometimes it can get confused with um, cilantro, but you can see the leaves are different. They're pointier, cilantro is more round. Sorry, I don't have any to show you. This is also flat leaf parsley. You can also find curly parsley as well. Um, you know, I'll usually specify for you which one to use. If I don't specify, it's probably because it doesn't matter. So uh, the biggest thing with parsley is, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt because you just have to pick the leaves off. Like that's just where you have to start. So, um, and, a lot of this is stem, and so as you just sort of pick the leaves off, especially if it's something like a chimichurri or something else where you have to do a lot of parsley and like pack it down tight into a into a measuring cup, it can uh, it can just take you know a lot of parsley to do that. So anyway, I'm just showing you. This is just been picking it off. I mean, there's no trick to this. It's just literally picking parsley off of this plant. Um, I leave it still in here to just make it easier on myself. Other people would go ahead and pull it off. Um, you know, throw away the stems as I do that. You can actually save these and they go really well. You can bundle them up sort of like with the tops of celery and put them into uh, stock or broth if you're making that. So definitely if you want to do that at home, reserve these and, um, and you know, you can keep them in a bag in your freezer until you're ready to use them. So anyway, just picking leaves off basically. That's the first step. And then from there, for the most part, Maybe you're gonna use them like that, maybe you're gonna pack them down and then you're gonna use a food processor to do the chopping, but if you need to actually chop by hand, the easiest method that I've found is kind of just like creating a, as much of a little bundle as I can with it, and then using my knife to go down the bundle. It breaks apart a little bit. And that's, that's a much quicker way to start the chop, and then you can go through like that and roughly chop it even more. So that's a pretty decent size chop. Uh, you can go smaller if you so desire. I don't usually find much need to go smaller than that. Um, it just takes more time. So that is, uh, that's pretty much the basics of parsley. All right, that's it for today.